Traders, we've got a surprise for you in this video because we are going to walk you through the trading panel, but specifically the paper trading feature, and especially how you can create multiple accounts in different currencies while paper trading. So we're going to show you why this is really cool, how to use it, and really just a general overview of what's possible. So the first thing to note is we're on the chart. We move our mouse down and click trading panel. Then we click paper trading. It's right here at the top left. Once paper trading is open, we're going to have this pop up appear. Now it says connect and it's very important that you remember that paper trading is a simulated environment. It is not real money. It is like a video game. You have a chance to practice to prepare, to see how you would do, to get better with no real money on the line. It is a simulated environment. So we click connect, wait a second, and our paper trading account has been opened. As you can see, there are no positions in our trading account yet because we haven't placed any trades. We're doing this for you so you know how this feature works, specifically multiple accounts in different currencies. So we're gonna go ahead and open our paper trading panel back up. Always remember that you can customize this panel to your needs whether you want to see it as a larger percentage of your chart or a smaller percentage of your chart, it's up to you. Now we're gonna take your eyes and point them to where it says account. This is where you can manage your accounts. Click this drop down, and you can create multiple accounts. This is such a fantastic feature for those of you who want to trade and practice multiple strategies. So you can make an account, for example, called the Trendline account, which would mean you want to paper trade trend lines only and see how you would perform. You could then make another account, for example, called the scalping account. And this would be an account where you are scalping for certain trades and measuring your performance to get better. So let's go actually go ahead and just create that. Click our drop down, and we've got four accounts created here. But the point of this video now is to really focus on the JPY account and the GBP account because you can create accounts in different currencies as well. So we've got this account here in US dollars, this account in GBP, this account in JPY, and then the scalping account in US dollars. Let us show you how you can now do that in different currencies. So we click create account. And in this example, what we're actually going to do is call this one our crypto account. And quite literally, we're going to trade it in Bitcoin. We want everything in this practice account to be denominated in Bitcoin. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, you've got a box here that says balance. And next to that box, it says currency. Click the drop down. Ladies and gentlemen, you can now create multiple accounts in many different currencies. So, depending on where you are in the world, depending on what currencies you trade in, depending on if you just want to practice and see something different in the paper trading panel, you've got that option. Click the currency that you want to access. For this tutorial, super in depth to make sure everyone has a chance to get started, we've got a button here that says BTC. We're going to click that. So now we are pricing the account in BTC. Everything we do is going to be priced in Bitcoins. If you happen to trade instruments or on a brokerage or platform that charges commission, be sure to check this box, select the commission of your choice. It's up to you. We're going to turn commission off for this video because commission free trading is on the rise and it's not as relevant as it once was. But hey, if it's relevant to you, check this box to include it. By the way, that's really important because you want a realistic reminder of your trading. And remember, commissions are a cost to you. So you have to include these if you're charged commissions so you can really see your performance with those commissions involved. Now we click create and check it out. Our newest account has been added to our paper trading account, crypto account in Bitcoin. We can even see here the BTC denominated. The account is in Bitcoin. Now, here's where this is just really fantastic. We've got a chart of Uber open. Now, let's say we primarily hold our money in Bitcoin. We happen to be a crypto trader. Well, what we can do is buy Uber on the basis that we're trading it only in Bitcoin. So if we click this buy button here, the order panel pops up. We've got the order panel right here. We can extend it as needed to fit our, you know, 
our, our exact screen and workflow. Now, normally we would probably walk through a limit order about take profit and stop loss, setting up the whole trade, doing risk management, but this is just a tutorial video. It's for education and we want to place a market order because we want to walk you through the most important part. And that is the Bitcoin concept. So let's say we wanted to buy 50 shares of Uber and we want to do it at a market order. Well, we've got this drop down here, which by default will probably show you the amount of BTC that's equivalent to. But if you click this drop down, you can also get percentage of your balance, your BTC risk and your percentage risk. And you've got this nice tool tip here, which will tell you exactly what that means. But the larger point here is that when your trading panel opens, you can price out the entire trade in the currency of your choice. So if we were to buy 50 shares of Uber right now, that's equal to 0.07 Bitcoins. Now we could do that the reverse way. Let's say we wanted to buy one full Bitcoin worth of Uber. Look how quickly that math occurred and happened. That's equal at this point in time to 728.4 shares of Uber. Let's go ahead and place the trade. So what we've just done is utilize this new feature to price our paper trading accounts in a specific currency while having multiple paper trading accounts of our choice to place a trade entirely in Bitcoin. Now it gets even better than that. And by the way, please do keep in mind that everything we're showing you also works for the other currencies as, as well. So if we went to our JPY account, which is the yen, if you happen to be in Japan or if you hold yen or trade in yen, well, we can do the same thing. Check it out. The order panel has updated to show us JPY. We could also do these other options as well. Let's stick to the basics. And let's say we wanted to buy 500 shares of Uber in yen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's calculated that for us instantly. Here's how much yen that would cost. We have the same capabilities to add a take profit or a stop loss to do a limit order, a stop order. It's all here. If you want to learn more about the trading capabilities of TradingView, specifically these bracket orders and setting a take profit and stop loss, we have over 400 videos on our YouTube channel, many that cover this feature. And our help center has some of the best educational content on the web in written format for you to also watch. Now, what we're going to do, though, is we want to just show you another order. 500 shares of Uber. Here's the yen. Let's click buy. The reason why we want to show you another example is because when you have multiple paper trading accounts on TradingView, you can see here that we've got our JPY account and our Bitcoin account. But this is what we really want to make sure is now also clear. You can see what the market value is of the trade you made also in yen. So here's our trade value in yen. Here's our market value in yen. Now, if we go back to our crypto account, keep in mind, same asset. We traded Uber in both of these examples. We can see what the trade value is and market value is in Bitcoin. So this can be a lot of you know, uh, not, I don't want to say fun, but it can be very informational. It can be very efficient. And in some respects, it can be fun because you can watch markets, for example, in Bitcoin, and you can see the data come in in real time, your trades being priced and formatted in Bitcoin. So you can really start to have some interesting practice trades by pricing your paper trading account in a specific currency and then trading different instruments. Now, as we wrap up this video, it is very important to say that this works across all asset classes. So recall in this paper trading example, we have our crypto account in Bitcoin. If we wanted to go to the Euro USD, which is the Euro US dollar, we could click buy and we could still buy this particular asset in Bitcoin. This is way too many Bitcoins. So we're going to want to, uh, I'm sorry, contracts. Let's, let's lower this to a thousand. Wow. That's only equal to 0 0.02 Bitcoin. Fairly eye-opening to see that, you know, over a thousand contracts of your US your USD is just 0 0.02. So you can also actually really get a better perspective on these markets as well by utilizing this feature. Now, by the way, every time you do type this into the, to the order panel, it will update depending on which one you have toggled. So we're going to go ahead and buy one Bitcoin worth of Euro USD. Click buy. The trade's been placed. Here's our bracket orders, our stop loss, our take profit, which we can 
We can drag up as needed, modify the trade. And the reason why we want to now modify this trade with the bracket orders is because this feature really does cut across the entire paper trading experience. You can see your profit and loss in the currency you selected. So this is just so cool. If we happen to make our take profit target, we can absolutely see what that would be, but that's 0.03 Bitcoin. Our stop loss is 0.01 Bitcoin. So now you're probably starting to really see how you can do some interesting practice tests and examples by utilizing this multiple account feature alongside the different currencies of your choice. And it's really up to you. You can set this up in any way. You can have accounts based off of specific strategies, scalping, trend lines. You can have accounts based off of specific currencies like crypto or JPY. The whole point is that you have this capability and it's now all about diving in and getting started. Because once you set up your paper trading process and create multiple accounts, you're really going to start to understand how this all works and you're really going to learn how to take full advantage of it, especially setting up these bracket trades to see the take profit or stop loss, for example, in Bitcoin, creating full bracket orders with take profit targets and stop losses priced in the exact currency of your choice. And of course, also making sure that you are setting up the trade in that currency and taking advantage of other features such as senior risk amount, your percentage risk, your percentage balance, You've got the options for all of this. So thanks so much for watching. We make these long comprehensive videos so everyone has a chance to learn. So we get everything shown to you. And the whole point here is that we are building an educational library on YouTube with over 400 videos. We want to near, we've just passed 225,000 subscribers, getting close to 250,000. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. And we hope that you really enjoy this new feature and take full advantage of it.